Hi, uh, my name is Alexis Crandria, and I'm an analyst with ID Tech X. It's Hi. nice to meet you. I'm Ruben. Uh, so would you mind telling me a little bit about Sensel and your technology and what you have here? Uh, sure. Uh, we've developed this force sensing technology. Uh, on the surface here, we have nearly 20,000 elements. It's very high resolution, and we can detect from a very light touch, for about 5 grams to 5 kilograms. Huh. Right? And it's multi-touch. Uh, it's very high resolution. You can actually even write. The harder you press, is the thicker, the thicker the uh, traces. And then if I take this brush and a very light touch, and then right. So I have a question about this. I have a tablet to draw on, and I have to use a special pen. Um, in this, I can use anything I, I have normally, right? Because it's a pressure sensor. Kind of the idea on this one is um, it's not an active stylus uh, and it, we s essentially detect the surface area that you're touching. If you leave it on, you'll see that it, it detects the, the actual surface contact. Right? Yeah. And so you could have a small brush, it'll be a smaller contact. You could have a larger brush, it's a larger contact. Can I try the smaller brush? Uh, you may. That's cool. So this is a visualizer that it showcases our technology, what our technology can do. Very cool. And you have the musical version as well, and, right? And so what happens is uh, the, uh, we have a dynamic range of sensitivity, and then we've developed these overlays, and they're, they're flexible. They're flexible. And what happens is when you place the overlay on top of it, it detects which overlay that you place on it. And the minute I placed, placed it on there, it became a piano. We have it configured as a uh, guitar, right? So, because we want to show you uh, that it's, it's sensitive in. <laughs> like a guitar, you can uh, showcase the uh, sensitivity when you move your actual finger. Go for it. Very cool. Yeah, so the, the vibrato, like guitar, you can have vibrato. Huh. Right? And then simply take it off, place the drum kit on it. And it can tell it's, it's which. Yes. Uh, so is this out right now? Can I, or you can are you rolling it, it out? on our soon? website, uh, oh. sensel.com. Uh, Hopefully in about a week, if you order it, you could get it, receive it in a week. We assemble it here in the United States. Um, this is another, this is a DJ pad. It's an MPC, so yeah. it's a... Hold it down, there you <laughs> And so those three overlays uh, turn it into a MIDI mm -hmm. controller. Um, and then we also have productivity. You, you could place it on and then place the, this overlay and it's actually a keyboard and mm -hmm. let me... Uh, Oh, it's a musical keyboard. And it is a musical keyboard. And we've developed this uh, overlay that actually has, gives you tactile feedback, like a regular keyboard, right? It Very cool. So from one device, I get at least what looks like five functionalities. There, yeah, there's several. You could actually do gaming. Oh. Uh, we have an innovators overlay that uh, it's clear that you can actually print. If you, if you code and you're a developer, you can assign uh, shapes on on the surface and print it out on a regular printer and and then place that on top of it and, and then test you know test out uh, the creation that you just uh, laid out um, and it could be used as a, just a regular trackpad too similar to huh. the trackpad that's on your laptop well this is uh, great video editing like if you if you actually do video editing cut splicing and move video around you, mm. you can actually uh, so it's, it's, it's a morph. The, the minute you place the overlay on it, it morphs into a different product. Okay. So how did you guys come up with this? Uh, the founders, the original founder, uh, he is an expert from NYU in touch technology. Uh, he, so he created this, um, I think it was about three years ago. Um, and he's done many, uh, he's had many ideas. Uh, and so it, it's actually pretty cool. Well, this is great. Anything else you want to sure. let us know and for the so, camera? Uh, 
the technology is very sensitive. We uh, actually have it here underneath a plastic display, and you can actually detect it. You put a display on Through top of it. It goes under e ink. E ink. Yes, it's an e-ink display. You could put an OLED display on top of it and we detect it through the actual display. And so it's based on resistance. Um, uh, and this one, uh, I'm going to show you that it's, um, it does have the, the dynamic range mm. of pressure, but it also works in water. No. Whereas if this was capacitive, it would not work in water. Right? Huh. Light touch, strong touch. Very you, cool. You could you could put this technology, say, in the console of your uh, automotive uh, automobile, and then put a piece of leather on it, and you can make it active, right? So, so say if you want to activate something in the dash, you're here driving, and and you can put a piece of leather, and we detect. It. Very cool. It's based on pressure. Well, thank you very much. Thank this you. This is fascinating. So glad you like it. What do you think of the conference here? Are you having fun? We are having fun. It's uh, there's a lot of smart people here. Yeah, I really enjoy talking to them. Okay, very.